Hi YouTube. Uh, before I begin today's video, I would just like to say um, I'm sorry that I didn't upload a video on Saturday. Um, the reason was um, the uploader wouldn't let me upload a video, so I didn't know what to do. So I thought I'd try again today and hopefully it will work with yesterday's video and today's video. I'm also sorry that um, I didn't really talk about what I was going to talk about yesterday and I'm sorry that that video wasn't very good. Um, today's video. Um, yesterday obviously as you all know I was trying to talk about um, the way we see the English language. Apparently it is the third hardest language um, in the world and um, to be honest it's hardly surprising because there are a lot of um, words for example that um, are the like are the uh, not the same spelling but and they mean different things but it's hard to get the right you know for example, right, let me give you an example. Right, yesterday, um, I had a text from Greg, right? And it said, um, um, it said, what did it say? Oh, yeah, it said that he didn't, because we normally give him a lift to the pub, and he said that he didn't want to lift, need a lift. Um, and it hit me, me to there. But the way he spelled there was T H E I R when he actually meant T H E R E, right? And I actually pointed to that because I thought it was so funny. And um, what it was is he was, he has begun writing a novel, right? Like, like I, I, I've. I write novels and he started writing one and um, he was saying that um, he kept putting the wrong spelling in the book and he kept having to go and change it and then when he was supposed to put the right spelling in the text he put the wrong one you know <laughs> and he put the one that he had been put in he he was putting one that he'd had to change everything to in his novel, so it was sort of on his mind, if you know what I mean. But um, I mean, the thing I wanted to talk about today was actually spellings. Spellings of words is very hard um, for some some people. For me, spelling of words is quite easy, but. I think the spelling of words is made harder by um, the fact that obviously with, with England there's like a lot of words that are pronounced, um, they're like pronounced, they're spelled differently to how they're pronounced. And um, there are like several, there can be several different ways of spelling a word. And um, let, I'll give you another example of this, right? Okay. Okay, I'm not going to mention names. Um, but this is someone my dad used to work with who we still see. Right? And he isn't very good with, with spelling. And he didn't know how to spell the word 40, right? Which is F O R T Y, right? Now, in England, we spell four on its own as F O U R. But when it comes to 40, we spell F O R T Y. Right? 
Now, <laughs> one day, right, he had to go to, he bought some, some things, right, and he had to pay check because he didn't have cash or something. And, um, and he like looked at the check and I thought, how much does this, does this come to? And he looked and added up all the prices. 40 quid, everything came up to. And he was like, ah, okay. Now, what he decided to do was <laughs> to go back into one of the shops and buy um, a shirt, right, for ten <laughs> for ten pounds, right, so that it would come that the check could be written at fifty pounds, right? Because he knew how to spell the word fifty. So that's what he did. To get out of writing the word forty, he went out and bought another shirt because he could spell the word fifty. It was hilarious. It really, really was. Um, oh, God. No, it was. Seriously. Anyway, um, please leave a comment um, telling me your thoughts and um, I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good day.